What's up people, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be chatting about Watches and Wonders 2024 Novelties Part 2. Gerard Charles has a unique case design that shapes like a shoe or a crescent. Gerard Charles adds a new line of collection known as the Master Link. The Master Link comes in two colours, i.e. the blue and the silver. The unique case shape follows true to the unique design on the bracelet, with the bottom part following the curved design whereas the top part features the geometrical flat lines. The movement on this features a micro rotor Inkler block shock protection and hacking seconds function. This year, Grand Seiko proudly presents the SLGW003, which has a new hand wound high beat movement, the Caliber 9SA4, which has an accuracy of plus 5 to minus 3 seconds per day and a power reserve indicator at the back. The movement is housed in GS Brilliant Heart Titanium, which is brighter than the traditional titanium, causing the case Zeratsu polished surface to appear even more radiant. The Brilliant Heart Titanium is light and also highly resistant to corrosion and scratches while commanding a hardness double than a standard stainless steel. This is Grandview Breaking Ground. While Grandview produced a number of different watches and dealt with a variety of complications, it had never made a chronograph until now. The 1941 chronograph is produced in stainless steel with only 188 pieces and in tantalum with only 25 pieces. The movement here is remarkable. It has a soft reset mechanism using a centrifugal governor Position at the 4 o'clock helps to slow down the reset function. The 30 minutes counter at the 6 o'clock features an instantaneous jumping minute. H. Moser & C, one of my favourite brands, debuted their first skeletonized tourbillon in a streamliner where transparency meets symmetry. True to its minimalist philosophy, H. Moser & C has stripped away all unnecessary materials to better showcase and enhance this piece. What I like about this piece is that not only is it housed in one of my favourite case design and bracelet, it is measured only at 40mm. I'm not a big fan of Hublot, but this, I'll make an exception. The MP10 Tourbillon Weight Energy System Titanium deserves all recognition it should have. It's a watch without a dial. This is unique. With its rounded angles, sleek design, and sapphire crystal of an unparalleled complexity, it houses a self-winding movement that has a skeleton tourbillon incline at 35 degrees. This is limited to 50 pieces. IWC's Portugaiser Eternal Calendar now, that's one good looking watch, save for its diameter and height. However, if you have a big race, this is really a nice piece. According to IWC, building on its comprehensive calendar expertise, IWC has engineered a circular perpetual calendar for the first time. The Portugaiser Eternal Calendar automatically accounts for the Gregorian calendar's leap year exceptions by skipping three leap years over a period of 400 years. In addition, its moon phase is so precise that it will only deviate by one day after 45 million years. JLC, another brand that I'm a big fan of, debuted a dual mat in an entirely new timepiece, mirroring the high precision of a chronograph with the charm of a celestial complication. A platinum case is paired with a copper-coloured opaline dial. The movement features twin barrels and two gear trains. The subdial at the 2 o'clock display a chronograph and a moon face. The 9 o'clock, an hour, minute and day and night indicator. 
The central seconds is in blue, sweeping the tetrometric scale around the circumference of the dial. I can't help myself but to conclude that the classic moon by Lauren Ferrell looks kinda like a Patek. The classic moon has an annual calendar and a moon face. A first for Lauren Ferrell. It has a big onion crown and a power reserve indicator at the back of the movement. It comes in blue and silver. If you've enjoyed the video so far, please like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to support the channel and I promise to make more videos like this and I'll see you in part 3. Until the next one, thank you for watching.